Okay, we are building a new studio computer. And actually, if you notice, the box is really huge. We have the RM42300 Chenboro 4U rack mount server case. I'll get that out here in a second. We have Samsung one terabyte M.2 SSD, a Intel PC Express gigabit CT card. This is what's gonna be used for what we call uh, audio over IP or uh, network based audio. Two Arctic P8 PWMs, um, Fans. I couldn't get the ones I normally like, so I went ahead and went with these. They're not quite the right one. These are the pressure fans, but they will work. DDR4, 3200, uh, dual 8 gig, 16 gig pack. CD-ROM is because this is going to be in a radio station studio, so of course we need ways for them to get CD audio into the computer for editing, which rarely ever happens, but it does. A Ryzen 3 3200G. Uh, Prime 550M-A CSM, and of course my staple EVGA 500 watt 80 plus power supply, which this is massive overkill for this system, and that's exactly the way I build them. This job, which will add USB 3 to the front of the case. For some reason, case, uh, rack mount case manufacturers don't think that USB 3 is a thing yet. Like I said, this is I really wanted a 2U for this build. But uh, getting that stuff has been rather a challenge. Look how pretty that is. And the first big fight of the day. Give it to me. So what's going on here is I'm gonna pull all these out. When it was assembled, it actually you can see it. There's this portion right here is bent inward, so I gotta. I always had to have a difficult one, didn't we? Can't have a simple build. No, we gotta fight. It's gotta be a fight all the way through. There we go. So now we have USB 3 and a CD burner, DVD ROM combo drive. Screws. Oh, take that smell in. Oh. oh, I love that smell. Nothing like the smell of fresh power supply in the morning. And power supplies mounted. Pretty. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Any good tech has forgotten this freaking back plate a few times. One, two, one, da, 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 da. Good. All right, that's all of them. Pretty. Ta da. Hmm, got myself good. AMD ear boxes are sharp. Look at that. All right, got myself. Last thing you want to do is drop this and bend a pen. Nice and careful. It just lands right in. It is a happy processor. Oh, so happy. All right, and now it's RAM time. We got RAM, we got hard drive, CPU, CPU fan. She lines up, and the only one you gotta be careful of, and it did. Ah, cool. These two little tabs right here on top of the 
HDMI and I will start the screws. I do not tighten them down until I have them all in. You want to make sure all of them seat. You just get it run a few threads in. The last thing you need to do is you start to run into problems. You have to go through and back them all out or you've got a couple of them and it's on a funky angle that one screw is not quite, you know, one hole in the motherboard is not quite lining up with the standoff on the back plate. If you leave them all loose while you're doing it, the motherboard will actually, you can see it just ever so slightly shifts. Let's get the network card. And yes, this motherboard has a network card. Like I said, this is IP, or IP audio over, or audio over IP. Essentially what's gonna become the sound card. There's a Realtek card that works very well, but these Intel cards, I have, they've just been absolutely flawless, unlike my butter fingers. It's hard to grab things with a Star Wars Band-Aid. We have the Intel network card for the audio over IP installed. So what's gonna happen is, is this network port is gonna be used for local, uh, regular internet traffic, uh, collecting to the local, collect, connecting to the local network, web browsing, stuff like that. And this is specifically going to go to an isolated network that just handles audio. I can get my big hands in there. going to do is try to hide this cable up underneath here. You know what I may do, do I have another one of this USB 3? I couldn't use it anywhere else. And I'm going to put this in there. This is that 90 degree bend. I want to show you guys how well this works for these kind of builds. So watch this. USB 3 here. Look at that. Is that not freaking beautiful? And here is the power supply one I'm going to use too. And you'll see how clean this looks. That plugs in like that. Let's take a little bit of the twist out. Look at that. Is that not absolutely clean? I'm going to redo this. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? And look how you don't have the big connector that comes up. It sits nice and flat. And I'm going to hide all the excess power cords actually go underneath the CD-ROM. Isn't that clean? Look how beautiful that is. Yeah, there's. it'd be easy to add RGB like right here and in here. You can probably even do it right here behind the fan, which would probably add a neat effect. Or it'd be easy to put a, a, a really nice RGB... 120 right here, but it would be in front of the dust filter. There we go. The rack mount computer is done. I'm going to clean up a couple of these cables a little bit more. I want to still need some RGB. I know, right? I, I plan, my, my plan eventually is to build a computer out of this and mod the crap out of it. Because I literally, my plan, and if anybody's ever interested, talk, to, let me know. I want to build a tour ready, a rack mount gaming liquid cooled rig. And this right now is my top case to do that. Uh, there's a couple of other cases that come pre-made, but I, I kind of like the idea of mo uh, case modding this thing. Yeah, I'm going to get to bed, and then tomorrow I'll do the fire up and get the OS installed. So.
Okay. So, got it up and running. Ran into one small problem. It would not post. Culprit, 90 degree bend. So I'm going to go through and check each pin and see if one of these has a short. I wouldn't be surprised it does. I mean, they're not that expensive. Man, that does not look as good as it did. I'm not happy about that. I don't know, maybe I can check it and see if it's a cold solder. Because this is just foam that sits on top, so. Yeah, for whatever reason, unplug that, plug my power supply directly in, and it seems to work. Damn it! But, we're up and running. I'm happy about that! First rule of thumb. Always make sure you're running the latest BIOS. Even though the brand new board was an updated version. Food for thought. Thought for food. Something like that. Yeah. Well, figured out the problem. Damn it. Really good. I'm gonna call this as a, either they got soldered deep inside here or a bad PCB, which they should have tested for sending this out, but yeah, unfortunately, that's no good. Several days later.